why is Mountain Tech attending a lecture this year? Because it's a lecture mining. We're always here every second year. Um, no, we're obviously always proud to showcase our latest products and our services and I think we've got something exciting to show for this year. What are you showcasing at Electro? So we've got our smart screen panel which is in prototype so it's something worthwhile having a look at. You go and have a look, walk around um, with our 3D camera technology for inspecting the uh, wear within a cyclone um, and a whole lot of other goodies that we're showcasing here. Uh, technically more uh, uh, innovative but also from a service proposition some really good uh, 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 concepts that we're that we're showing off. So what are the, some of the major advantages to some of these products that you're showing? So the old story for us um, in mineral processing optimizing the plant plant performance and ensuring that equipment is up to its design spec uh, that it is designed properly and that it is running to that design spec and we integrate now, starting to integrate smart technology to monitor the wear on a product, to use 3D camera technology to monitor with our uh, uh, green dot tiles, the inside of a cyclone, to see how close are we to failure condition. So we don't wait till after failure, we actually can preemptively replace product uh, when it's still at, running at its optimum, but close to failure and we're not wasting uh, clients money we're actually changing out at the optimum time same with our, our lifter bars with the, uh, the the monitoring of the of the web profiles and we can anticipate the best economic time of failure Are these some of the things that you're doing towards digital transformation in the industry digital transformation is a challenge um, I, the, for us it's been there isn't off-the-shelf technology so we have to develop the technology we have to custom make it and for us it it really involves three different things. It's one is the sensor technology to pick up in the part what we want to measure, whether it's uh, running optimally or it's worn or it's on its way out. We've got to then communicate that through the communication technology that's connected with that. And then there's a big data and analytics aspect to it. So incorporating all of those three components and developing it in-house is quite a challenge. We have to contract a lot of that in because we don't have the, the resources. But it's, it's quite exciting, but it is one of those, you can do as much research as you want. You have to make it and fail and fail and fail and just repeat until you actually learn enough to start coming up with a tangible solution that's actually practical and useful for a client. And we're on the brink of 2019. Is digital transformation something that Multitech is looking at for next year? Or what are other, some of the other exciting things well, First of all, uh, we are very excited to launch and we are the first uh, this year and, and, and at this uh, 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 electro mining uh, that we, we've had our local content verification certificate on the latest mining charter. So we've verified on 13 product families as a locally 60% locally content manufactured product. Um, so very excited about that and we have our certificate here just around the corner and we're going to do a few presentations around how we've done that because we work quite closely with SABS. So that for us is local content, local is lacquer, local manufacturing jobs created and we really support this aspect of the mining charter so we're quite excited about that. And then going forward just, just delivering more on our service proposition, improving uh, uh, the way uh, uh, we monitor our products and, and just in general just being more present on mine sites and more actively involved in making sure that the operations are running smoothly. Thomas, thanks so much. Thank Best you. Of luck for